Hey everyone, welcome back for more EXO Zero's content. Today's video, we're going to discuss a hero guide for Estelle. But before that, if you want updated EXO Zero's content, please hit the subscribe button down below. Hey guys, before we start, so I'd like to invite you to join our Discord chat or Discord server. It's actually in the description below the link. So please check that out. Okay, so what we have here is Estelle. So we're going to focus on Estelle. She's actually a collaboration character or collaboration hero from Tales of Vesperia. So she's the third one that dropped um, for that collaboration. She dropped, I think, two days ago, to uh, Thursday. And let's start with her hero profile. So her number one um, uh, on this is her nation is Historic Republic. So this actually is actually good because she gives Historic Republic a solid healer. Um, my question is that will she be able to get uh, a future fate core? Will we be able to summon um, additional copies from her? Uh, eventually in the future aside from this event so who knows okay so anyway um she is of um, nature element she is of support and she is also a magical type hero okay so for estelle stats so for her strengths she only has actually two it's her hp which is high and her do dodge which is average the rest would be actually on the below average side to the low side so you have your her attack at below average defense at low uh, hit at below average critical hit below average block is low and also attack speed is low so we'll start off with her passive skill which is grant heal of 100 percent attack to an ally if they take damage and the health falls to 20 percent so this is her first a3 Okay, gains mana if own health is at 20% or less when triggered and if health is at 70% or more when triggered. Okay, here is her passive um, Angel Steer. So she has a self-revive at 100% health upon own death and one time per battle. Okay, so this is actually good for her. This gives her um, um, more stability in terms of... Um, a healer especially if um in pvp um because because you know usually we we try to get rid of the healer um as early as possible but for her in, in her case she can actually revive 200 percent health which is very very good okay and her other passive is healing our chest so once every two turns gain mana five mana from self upon upon sacred penance so sacred penance is actually her s2 skill so i've um, we'll we'll actually cover this in 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 a bit um just to give you um an idea of this after she uses her s2 she gains that five mana so more or less um based on my on my play testing of her she can actually use um this actually triggers on her first use then uh also on her sorry on her first turn then this triggers then on her third turn so it starts on her first turn actually let's actually take a look at her s1 so extreme stars so required mana is three so deals 525 percent damage to one enemy that's just it um a good s3 just to take out for example um squishy characters as well on the other side and let's go to her s2 so for her S2, this is her Sacred Penance. This is actually what makes her very, very good. So it's a required mana 5. It's a burst skill. But if you take a look closely at her, you know, the lines that are there, she it's actually built in with three abilities. So she has heal all allies by 34% of own maximum health. So you have to bump up her HP for you to maximize this. Okay, so also deals 178% damage to all enemies and also it has a provoke for five turns so basically this is an all-in-one skill or, spe or sorry or all-in-one s2 skill that can be used more or less almost every turn that she has um this actually um is actually vital to her kit because this is what makes her great and uh her heal which which scales up her hp is actually also a burst skill so 
burst heal and burst damage as well for this one and the provoke is actually a very good addition because it takes a lot of you know it takes a lot of heat uh, away from your other heroes and it actually you know um, damage is brought upon her the key is just to make her very tanky in terms of hp and probably increase her defense as well so for estelle's on each potential you really have to um right now she doesn't have she doesn't have you it's really hard to get copies of her number one she's stuck at level 90 i'm sure uh but for those who got extra extra copies of her very good um and also we don't have her fate core i'm not sure if she's going to have a fate core in the future but right now anish potential is her best friend so you have to basically bump up her defense tree and stamina tree especially this one the um, the last um the last portion uh for her stamina tree which is a leech potential effect so overtime effect reduces damage against all allies by 30 percent so i'm sure that your other heroes has this but if they don't have estelle is actually uh estelle actually has one of these um damage reduction by 30 percent so this is actually good for her and also for her defense tree um, status effect immunity for two turns and for her s1 it's more of deals additional damage of 12 percent of own maximum health again when when the attack hits so again scale up her unleash potential preferably um start with the, her stamina tree then her defense tree and work your way across up to her attack okay so we're going to test out um some of her skills let's put this um off out of play so garf goes first let's let's wait for uh for estelle's turn so estelle actually um usually goes last or goes fourth but usually with her attack speed of 36 she will be going last so the only way that you could for example um mitigate her attack speed is actually if you want to play um play fc shell with her um fc shell can actually uh uh hasten her turn so that you can actually use her s2 and actually bring out provoke so if if you can take a look later um her her mana would be at around eight so after we cast her s2 take a look at how many mana does she still have so we're going to cast S2, heal, provoke, and damage as well. So this is how our S2 looks. So if you can see there, um, from a 6, she has gone down to only... Uh, sorry, from an 8, she has gone down to 6. So basically, for again, for for, for her S, uh, what do you call this? Her her passive, her, her, her second passive, which gives her five mana it triggers on the first turn so let's actually move this on so that we could see what happens on her second turn this is actually good because um um her her passive her artist passive um i forgot what it is let's check it out in a while so again so this one, um, healing our test. So again, this is uh, once every two turns, gain five mana for self upon using sacred penance. So again, if you, when you saw there on her first turn, she actually gained uh, she actually gained five mana. For this one to start, she has ten already. So let's see if um, her her mana goes down to one or goes down to zero. So we're going to use it again so activate provoke see she's down to two she used um, most of it and she gained actually some some mana as well so if you can see so first turn second turn none she will use all it up then the mana gain will be triggered on her third turn after she uses s2 so it's only it, it, it only triggers when she uses her s2 okay so very good um character design in terms of um, spamming her skill um, she is actually further enhanced by shell for this one um, it takes a lot of pressure on on the other heroes that you have in terms of her provoke um, in terms of her healing 
the only key for her is that if you want to, her healing to increase you have to scale up her hp so that's the only way that you can really take advantage of uh of her s2 further okay guys we move on to her um recommended guardian stones so basically for um for estelle um what i would recommend are mainly two um at most three actually but primarily you should consider put uh, awakening her with a all fires or all fire set so that she could be given plus 5000 hp because that is what she needs um the other sets um give her little hp the others which what i would recommend as well would be either nature or machine set but i highly recommend that you put her with fire set effect before you awaken her again to maximize the 5000 hp that she will be getting okay once you have awakened her with uh, with the fire fire set you can actually um you can actually use um any set that you want after that because more or less you'll be mixing and matching with the uh, with the other colors because um, you have to avoid uh, being um, guard broken. So more or less, you could actually mix a little bit of red and... Uh, sorry, fire and machine set once she is already awakened. Okay, so synergy for other heroes actually. Um, priority would, you know, would be given to her nation. So um, if you have Astoris built up, um, she really, really works well with Astoris. Uh, Re Republic heroes so especially actually FC shell again you've seen there the turn reset um, early provoke and um, as well as the heals as well you can accelerate heals you can actually heal two times and provoke two times per round as you've seen there so basically she gets her turn after after um, FC shell casts S2 then she takes her her own turn as well okay so she is actually the only healer for Astoria's republic so take advantage of her in terms of that but she can be played with other nations as well that is what is good about her okay so for overall rating one being the lowest and three sorry and five being the highest so for her stats i would give her a three because again if you can remember her high stat would be only hp and dodge hp with high dodge with average stat so the rest would be either below average up to low so that's it for her stats so for her playability in content more or less i would give her a five because number one she is good in pvp because she can actually dictate the tempo together with fc shell um it really boils down on how you're going to build her knowing that you won't have enough you won't have enough cop copies of her and also um currently she doesn't have any fate core yet so basically she she can be used a bit in the early stages of pvp but not on the higher tiers also for pve actually for pve she will shine even with the limited number of transcend that you have on her so basically she will help you clear clear the the content especially for her uh, what she gives your team is um, reduced damage and also heals and and lastly with her synergy with other heroes i would also give her a five because of her flexibility in putting her in any nation um she will obviously um excel in historic republic but again she excels with almost any team comp um and but actually fc shell would be your best friend if you put them together in the team um i assume i assume as well that that composition will have Janai. so almost a historic republic team for them three and the rest can be you know a mix of other nations as well okay so for my final thoughts so number one she needs to be core shared i actually did a core share with my estelle with uh, fc annie to bump up her stat okay she did she badly needs good gear and she has to be awakened for her to shine you cannot she doesn't have again she doesn't have the opportunity to have copies it's really hard 
for you to summon five copies unless if you really want to spend a lot of zest on her hopefully they could um, they could uh, open up another banner in the future to get copies of her okay so bump up as well her hp for s2 skill this is where she will shine so can support um can be a very good support for her team so again as damage reduction or or she can taunt or uh provoke her enemies and also heal that much and that frequent okay and i actually am looking forward to for her to having her fate core because she has a lot of potential if they just limit us with this banner that just dropped for the collaboration this is actually going to be useless but if she if we have the opportunity to get copies of her in the future she will be very very good also for her fate core i would suggest that they align their art with exos heroes uh for for her fate core um i don't really mind this art but this is actually an old uh, you know um the, the design is actually old her costume is also pretty much very old in, in design and concept that it doesn't really reflect the way exos heroes designs their character so hopefully fate course would be better designed anyway guys um if you have any comments below please write them down i hope this video helps you um i'll see you in future videos you always take care stay safe this is the warden and i'm out